some of the stuff I'll be showing you in this video. Welcome to another SWF Beach Life excursion. Today we're going to be going on a kayak tour and we're launching out of this area. Got a bunch of different businesses here. You've got Pirate Key, Salty Sam's, you got an Echo Tour and a Sunset Cruise. And it's in this really adorable little Caribbean themed village for lack of another term. This is where we're going to be going. Salty Sam's, I got a group on and rented a kayak for half a day. And there was not a lot of people around. I shot this on March 26th. So things were already pretty scary. And I was able to kind of just at least get out on the water for half a day away from everybody. And I don't have to worry about getting sick or getting anybody else sick. So it was a swell day for social distancing. So there's not much very exciting, I can tell you, on the way out. Um, it was in the marina on the, the far side. And you're just going to see some boats and whatnot. So I saw, started from here, Salty Sam's, and I kayaked my way through the bay here underneath the bridge. The ultimate goal being here, Bunch Beach. That's one, to see if I can find any critters. But I went past this super cool bird, that little island, it's kind of like a bird reserve. And went up here for a bit, I'll tell you about that. Ultimately ended up on Bunch Beach. And then I had to kayak all the way back around here, which was fine, I was happy to be out on the water. And then ultimately ended up back here. Now I had three and a half hours to do all this all the things I planned on doing. So it was a little bit of a hustle. Here I am out in the bay there. In the, in the background, you'll see the pink shell, if you're familiar with the area at all. And there's that island I told you about. It's kind of like a bird refuge. There's no way to get there unless you're on a kayak. The water is very shallow, and I'll show you that. But man, it was peaceful, it's so pretty. These birds just don't have to worry about a thing. They got their own little island and they were egrets and herons and pelicans and oh it's really neat yeah it looks like a pelican so it's nice those guys can have their own little island undisturbed like i said there is no way to get there it's way too shallow for boats to get over there and since i was in the kayak i was able to kind of get a closer look day was really nice i was happy it was warm cool view now normally I chop my videos down to kind of keep it exciting but frankly I was so happy to be outside I'm probably gonna stretch this out as long as I can so I was thrilled to be out on the water hoping ultimately to make it over to Bunch Beach and like I said that water in the middle there was really shallow and I was kind of hoping I'd find critters and look lightning whelk so I was very encouraged at this point, like, yay, maybe I'll actually get to see some shells and critters and whatnot. So that was really cool. And I hadn't even made it over to Bunch yet. I was still in that really shallow water. There's Bunch in the background. And that's my destination. And like I had mentioned, it was really, really, really shallow. Like so shallow that I had to get up and pull, pull the kayak a little bit. It was, you can see the current there too. So I was fighting winds and currents and shallow water. I was happy to do it. Looks like an egret or something there. So that's my destination, trying to head over to Bunch. Now this is actually the spot on Bunch where we found a seahorse. I'll put a little link up in the corner there if you wanna scrub back and take a look at that. And then I had to take this little detour. There's all these really cool kayak trails and there's an app you can download called the Calusa Blue Way and it'll help you navigate all the different kayak routes in this area. Very kayak friendly. And there we have a crown conch. Crater, he's alive. I always find crown conch a bunch, always. And you know what else I find? Lightning whelk. Yep, it's just baby. Well, not a baby, let's call it a juvenile. Really pretty. Put him back in another crown conch. So at this point, again, super encouraged. I uh, made it over to Bunch. I'm seeing some critters. Oh, there's my beach where I'm normally traipsing around in the water looking for stuff. But hey, I'm here. It's all good. There we go. That's one of those big old lightning whelk. And that black thing, it's its foot. 
So they kind of move around. Here we got another one. Big old lightning whelk. Here we got another little juvenile. Oh, so pretty. Beautiful color. And there's another. So, not much has changed. There's just nobody on the beach. And I did not go on the beach. I did it here. I stayed in the water. I was not in any position to uh, to break any of the laws. We're not, well, I don't know if it's a law, but we're not allowed on the beach right now. $5,000 fine. So, I adhered to that. Didn't see anybody. So, trying to be as responsible as I could. Now, that is what these guys look like underwater. Yep, I figured since I was going to be around so much water, it was time to break out the underwater apparatus I had. You can see the operculum there, that little piece that they protect themselves with when they crawl in the shell. There's another guy. This will be a lot more fun when I can do it not trying to fight wind and surf and kayaks and tides. <laughs> All things considered, I was pretty happy. All right, let's see what else we see. This guy's way out of his shell. Look. Looks like he's pretty anchored there by his foot. Look at his operculum all the way out. And it looks like the, the tide is actually moving his shell around. Look at that. That is cool. It'll be a lot easier when I can do this on foot, that's for sure. There we have a Sunray Venus that was alive. I did not get a shot of him swimming around. I was hoping to, but I tried. Ah, oh, pretty. And it's another lightning whelk. Look at the crowns on him. Wow. Here we got another one. So that's what they look like, guys, when they're in their natural environment, just doing their thing. Undisturbed. So cool. So this guy I picked up, he was like upside down. Oh, that's why. He's in the middle of a snack. He's eating a Sunray Venus. He's got that shell in there, so I don't know how he's going to work that out, but... Well, put him back to where I found him. And there's another one. Mr. or Mrs. Lightning Welk. And then we got another. I'm going for a little bit of closer look. Now I can't really see because I'm above the water and I just stuck the camera underneath the water. So again, all things considered, it was a good day. And there we found another one. Another lightning whelk, little guy, I'm trying to make sure my kayak doesn't float away. All right, critter, back you go. So at this point I was, uh, trying to hustle back because I, like I said in the beginning, I only had three and a half hours. This is a couple of things I saw on the way back to returning my kayak. So this was kind of neat coming on under this bridge. Peaceful day. And as I came under that bridge, people were fishing from it. So I was lucky. There's you see a line right there. Kind of just went in between. This is where I had my breakfast and I'll, uh, tell you about all my different hacks in an upcoming video since I can't go to the beach I'm still gonna bring you goodness make sure you subscribe and so now I'm heading back now one thing I'd like to mention that I didn't get is guys if you're gonna buy a kayak make sure you rent one first to make sure that you really like what you're gonna buy because I became quite intimate with my kayak and I would never buy one like that <laughs> 
So that concludes my kayak tour. I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe for your weekly dose of beachy goodness.